Are we really gonna do this? We're doing it, baby. It's Keto Fear Factor number two. Okay, today we have smoked oysters, kipper snacks. I don't even know what that is. Smoked rainbow trout. We're gonna try all of these in today's video. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Keto Camping Fear Factor, episode... Two. So we got all kinds of comments about things that we could eat in the next Fear Factor. So here is one of them. Number one, day one, Kipper Snacks. I don't even know what that is. You know, you guys, you can't. This is, I hate seafood for the most part. Like, well, ugh. innovation since I feel like I'm you from the last video 1976. That was the year I was born, so there's got to be something awesome in this can. It says that it's wild caught. This is the polar brand. This is not a full review video because we don't want to hurt these companies because I'm not, assuming that this is terrible. Okay, so let's let's if you're new to our channel, so we've recently discovered we love camping, we always have loved camping, but we it's recently from Germany. got a pop up camper and we discovered that we have more energy to camp than we used to. And we thought we would make this fun since there are lots of canned or preserved meat products or food products that are keto friendly that like in a zombie apocalypse or a hurricane or an earthquake or something like that would be much better to eat than an MRE. But I don't know if this is the case. So we're going to try. We've started this series of trying some of these different things like in the last if you haven't seen the last one we're gonna leave a link over here like potted meat canned corned beef spam stuff like that and some of them become discoveries like we learned that spam, spam is really good it's good right other ones we were reassured we don't want to eat that i will be adding some redmond sea salt to this now we love redmond this is not sponsored by Redmond, but we do love Redmond salt. There's a link down below, but you can buy it anywhere. But if you use that link, it does help support the channel. I feel like it's going to give everything its best shot. What are we doing? What's okay. first? So this is Ki this is Kipper Snacks. And basically it is an all natural smoked boneless filet of herring. And it's got water and salt in it. And let me tell you, I mean, here's the thing. This is keto uh, this would be keto approved because there's no wonky ingredients. A whole can is a serving, 140 calories, 10 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein. How many carbs? None. Okay. No carbs. Let's do this. You can eat this as much as you want every day of the week, all the time. I got my Milo's iced tea. Does shaking it make it better? No. I'm afraid that now our pop-up camper is gonna smell like. Whatever There's no this is. spitting out. You can't be like Anthony. Oh, I'm not gonna spit it out. But you gotta pop the top. Ugh. Oh, they are huge! Oh, oh, oh I, I saw just that coming. It, but I wanted to show them what it looked like. Ew. Now. Oh. oh. Now you have to eat a whole. Oh, one. now it, it smells like weird. It's like. Fish and, but it does smell smoky. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, there's so much of it. Oh my gosh. Man, smelling like dropping. Oh my gosh, it's an entire filet. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just Wait holding it up. That's a half. Look at this thing. Oh my oh gosh, my it gosh. smells rank. It really smells like something went wrong. It's got a fin. Is that a fin? You're really, they're not throwing anything out. You ready for this? Can you put a little on mine? I feel like I'm I gonna feel need this like too. Oh, I it's kind of like slimy. 
I feel like since you spilled some, you should eat twice as much. Aw. Maybe we'll love it. It's from Germany. You're, you're, you've got German ancestry. Okay, ready? Dink. Let's go in. Not bad. Not bad. The smoking takes the edge off the fish taste. Maybe if we smoke the tuna. Okay. That is not terrible. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for suggesting the kipper. Okay. I I would definitely don't get... like fish. I like it's weird. I like sushi, but I don't like fish. I don't mm -hmm. like cooked fish. I like shrimp. I don't like crab. I don't like lobster. I don't like any cooked fish. I don't like anything else that we have to eat. But this isn't bad. This is not bad. If the, I, I, you can get past the smell. The smell is really bad. The smell and is also, rank. I mean, it they, is. It is wow. And they live leave this this. They are leaving I, the I'm skin. Fine. On. I mean, there's lots of fish that eat with the skin, but I mean, honestly, I mean, I can even. Do another piece. I would not. Now, Redmond's definitely makes it better. I would not be upset if we ate that again. Very good suggestion. Thank you. It's not bad. It's edible to me. And so a sea, any seafood that's edible to me. It's is, super mild. It's pretty good. It's like they took the edge off of tuna. It's a very mild, fishy taste. Super mild. The smell smells like don't, fish bait that's been rotting in a container for like a week. Don't pour it out in your camper is is the message that we got from yeah. today's challenge. We'll be back with another item. Hopefully it'll be this good. Okay. Bumblebee <laughs> oysters. Hardwood smoked oysters. Or smoked rainbow trout. In olive oil. I, I, fortunately, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read the I ingredients. Can't see it. Which one do you well, want? Well, which one do you want to do today? I picked it, yesterday. You pick, you I picked. Pick. I don't want. I pick. We don't do either. Um, let's just get this out of the way. Okay, we're gonna do the oysters. I'm really afraid of this. I've got my Redmen because we're gonna have a Redmen on. Maybe this would taste better. Probably, and it's it's kind of rough. Have, I mean, have you guys seen this stuff? It's minerals. So this is the keto chow. It's a brand new product. It's the daily minerals. Look, it's Dr. Barry. There's your electrolytes and all of the minerals that you are not getting from the food that you are eating. Even the proper human diet food, there are some minerals that may be lacking. Instead of buying a whole medicine cabinet full of pills and probably not even get things that your body can break down, one source. There is some copy on the back. It does say Keto Chow Daily Minerals. They're developed with the help of Dr. Ken Berry with the specific aim to give people a simple way to replenish all of the important minerals that have been depleted through the modern soils and lacking in our modern diet. Now, it does say very, very important. Daily Minerals do not have any sugars, sweeteners, added flavors. It is salty. It's very and salty. And bitter due to the minerals. Do not take this, you know, on an empty stomach. On an empty stomach. There's a link for this down below. Again, developed by Dr. Berry, give you all of your electrolytes and minerals you need. One tablespoon a day. Done. It's fifty-two dollars, so it's like the same price as the Dr. Berg stuff. I mean, but a lot more electrolytes, a much it's better last value. Last a lot longer. If you use our link, you're going to get ten percent off. So uh, the link is down below. And just in case you're curious, it's fifty-two dollars, and there's sixty-four servings in here, so a little bit less than a dollar a day. But, but it's, again, it's bitter, so it's minerally. mix it in with coffee, soda. I mean, I still just take it in a shot. You're better than me. Just do get it over with. Okay, it's getting hot in here with Speaking no air conditioning. Of getting it over. Get with. it over with. I've got my Milo's iced tea right here. Oh, you, I'm taking a swig of that. That stuff's amazing. I don't okay. share Milo's iced tea. One can. 230 calories, 15 grams of fat, six uh, total carbohydrates, 18 grams of protein. So there are some carbohydrates in these oysters. Yeah, most shellfish does have oyster, uh, all, carbs. All this is is smoke, smoked oysters, cottonseed oil. Yeah. Don't see that a lot. And salt. Oh. We don't even have a fork. It's so brown. <sighs> oh, it doesn't smell right. 
I figured Bumblebee tuna brands oh. was at least like we weren't gonna get botulism from it or something. Okay, the rule is we're not allowed to spit it out, right? Oh my gosh, they're hard. They're not slimy. Ew. They're not slimy. Like I'm expecting like slimy oysters. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. That's what it looks like. I am definitely draining this guy as much as I can. Salt. Salt. Salt it, please. Thank you. Ooh, a little piece of him came off. You gotta eat it. It's on your. It's on your thing. Okay. You gotta eat it. Don't. Dink. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. Not for me. Oh, no. Swallow it though. Oh, it's very. Um. Oh, seafoody. Oh, at oh. first I was like, okay, it's not so bad, no. and then all of a sudden it was like, oh. And the mouthfeel, I'm, I'm. Uh, oh, oh, you get to finish those. No, 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 no. That's going straight in the trash. Um. Oh. Um. Uh. Mm. Why did you pick those? Oh, I'm just so glad that's just done, like just over with. Uh, okay. It is seafoody. I know that this isn't part of, <laughs> like you know, fear factor. But a lot Ugh. of people, we can't. We got this in our keto crate. Look at this. No. Ugh. I gotta get something out of my mouth. So a lot of people asked us to retry this. They're like, you're you're not you're you're not giving it its fair due. It's gotta feel better than this. Okay. So again, I've had these before. They weren't bad. I found they lacked flavor. Just my personal. I opinion. need you to open that up quickly. So sir. cinnamon pecan flavor, good to go. Because the tea didn't even take the edge off of that flavor. Where are the ingredients? Oh my gosh. Read the ingredients. I can't read those. Almond flour, inulin, erythritol, pecans, vegetable glycerin, apple cider vinegar, ground chia seeds, sea salt, cinnamon, natural flavor, baking <laughs> soda, rosemary extract, extract, mixed tofurols, organic. It's all organic. It's all organic. Okay. 170 calories. There's how many grams of fat? 14 grams of fat. Wow, I feel like just a really old person. I really 16 feel grams of carbs, 7 grams of right fiber. Now. I can't read it. I can't read. How much erythritol and sugar alcohol? Five grams. Okay. So Rachel cheated. I couldn't take it. There's. It comes with like four of these little things. I could not. That's a lot of erythritol. Now I mean, it's like an aftertaste of erythritol. It's very cooling afterwards, but it tastes like a baked good. It does not taste like a bar. No. I mean, that's pleasant. They're not bad. I don't think they're bad. But the erythritol is hitting me right in the chest now. It's like, I could just feel it sitting there. Yeah. I don't think they're bad. Not bad. It ta it does. It's got flavor, but for me, it doesn't have enough flavor. It's funny. It it's not worth the carbs for me. It looks like a bar, but it's very muffin-y. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like a muffin. It's like Ugh. a cross between a muffin and a bar. No. No? I will die first. Okay. So it's Monday, Labor Day. That was a labor of love. When are we doing this? Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Cold trout. Rainbow trout and olive oil. Can you guys please, please pick some good stuff for the next episode? Is of there this? something good? I'm prepared for this one because I think this is going to be the worst one. You think so? Yeah. Smoked rainbow trout in olive oil. You eat that, I'm eating this. No. Why not? Well, first of all, that is spicy, spicy cheese. You're just trying to burn out your taste buds. No, this tastes really good. I got this from BJ's. It's like a cheddar cheese with buffalo spices in it. It is going home day. But We're going home. But before we pack up, we need to fuel up with delicious... Oop, I dropped it. Rainbow trout. Okay, so we just filmed the video for this stuff. Mm-hmm. Again, I know we mentioned it in, you know, yesterday's part of this, but we just filmed the video for this because it's launching today and I put it in my coffee and when we did that video, my coffee was black. I forgot to put cream in there, but I just put some Kai 2 in it's here. It's like salted. It tastes very like salted, like a salted caramelly type it, of drink. It does. It turns the sweet cream 
Kaitu into like a salted caramel. Co- I actually like it. It's bitter. I mean, I'm not messing with I'm it. I'm not finding it bitter when I mix it with the Kaitu. That is. But it's very that salty. Is good. Super salty. But we need the salt because we're about to eat this. I'm let ready. Me, let me tell you what's inside of this. So, um, rainbow trout, olive oil, and sea salt. That's it. It says it's farm raised in a mountain spring water. Sounds like an amazing life for these little trout. Again, I'm not a I'm not a seafood eater. I was impressed with the kippers. As somebody I, who doesn't well, like these seafood, are, these are smoked. But yesterday's was smoked too. The oysters were smoked, and that was not good. You know, I do want to say we're not trying to offend. I we keep getting messages on the other one about right. like I grew up with those. We are not trying to offend everybody's. No palates are different and again when you grow up with something i think it's different like if there's countries where people grew up eating bugs we did not but we did not so for us the thought of eating bugs is horrible in other countries the thought of eating you know chickens is horrible yeah you know so it's just different so these are just these are new products for us and we're hoping some of them we discover we like right and some of them like i will like, eat the kipper again yeah i would absolutely eat that but so not there, the oysters so if you eat this entire thing 144 calories 10.7 grams of fat 11.8 grams of protein zero total carbs let's just get into this i i can't even no seafood in the next one be careful because I spilled that first one. Ooh. I'm always blown away by how large of a serving. They're very generous with these. Oh, wow. It's all over the lid. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, it's fragile. It's very flaky. Wow. Okay. We only have one spoon because everything is packed up. I feel like I could just stick my fingers in there. You're going to hit it with some Redmond. Hit it with Redmond. Redmond makes everything able to be eaten. Skin and all. Oh, my Lord. Is that for... Is that Ladies for your, first. Is that for your bride? I feel like you just got all the salt. Are you purposely not telling me? Mm-hmm. I'm not looking at you. At first, I was like... Oh my gosh, that's good. Wait a minute. It has a second wave of fish that hits you. Okay, I actually like that. It's a little It's a little too fishy. Mm. I like that. I mean, I can see eating that in a, a zombie apocalypse. I mean... When zombie the, apocalypse. The first bite that's, that's, is like chicken to me. That's the level. Yeah, but that's what's weird about it. The first bite is not fishy at all, and then all of a sudden it hits you, and that that weirds me out. I don't know. I feel like that's the least fishy thing we had. I still like the kipper the the best. Okay. I I'll take I'll gladly take a piece of this cheese though. Yeah, no, we gotta do it like this though. You're getting another piece. What? I don't think I need another piece. Here you go. Here, you can make... Here you go. If I have something spicy and tastes not like this... The cheese helps. Well, it's just very off-putting to me to have the fish taste in the background. Usually, you eat tuna fish... Your first bite, you are well aware that you were eating fish. This is it, like, it comes later. Here's your other piece of cheese. Thank you. Yeah. Zombie apocalypse. I'm going to eat. It's not bad. I'm going to eat this instead of eating you. <laughs> but. I don't think it's bad. I think it's the least fishy thing we had this weekend. And if all I have is oysters, you better run. <laughs> That's all I know. Well, that's going to be our video for today. If you like seeing different types of videos like this, like what I eat in a day videos, make sure you take a look at our complete playlist, which you're going to find right down here. 
Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over there. But whether you head this way or head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, and that way, every time I am burping up rainbow trout, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.